Hi right, guys, hope you're all doing well today. So this is the code from last time. You can go ahead and debug that. Um, start without debugging, yes. And it's going to show us the uh, cool car sir with spaces in between them. Okay, we X out of that. I just want to mention that if we change the spacings here, that it, it doesn't really matter. Computer doesn't care. So it's just going to give us the same results. So even if you change any kind of spacings, that doesn't really matter. Um, okay, even even within one statement, you change these spaces, that doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is if you change the spacings inside a quote right here, yes, that'll make the space bigger. But other than that, if you do that, it's totally fine. Anyways, we printed out cool, car, and sir on the same line. What if we wanted to print out each word of those on a different line? What would we do? Okay, well basically we use a C++ reserved word called ENDL. And basically you would write a C out statement right here between, between C out cool and C out car because we want the space right there or we want, the, the, we want it to be on a new line. We write C out E N D L semicolon and we debug it. I just want to show you guys how it works. Okay. Here is the console. Okay. So by default, the cursor is always in the beginning, right here. Before you give it any kind of orders or any instructions. And the cur by the cursor I mean this right here, but it doesn't show, so you, you can't see it. So just imagine there's a, a cursor right there, okay? Now you tell it to see out cool. What's gonna happen is, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna print out cool. And then the cursor is gonna be here. But then after you tell it to see out and L, what's gonna happen is gonna, it's gonna move the cursor from here to the next line. And it, it takes it to the beginning of the next line actually. And then from there it's going to see out car, and then it's going to see out the space, and then the cursor is here now, and then it's going to see out sir, the cursor is by the, after the R, and then it's going to print out a space right here, and then it's going to print out the present key to continue, right? So basically, to add a line or to make it skip the rest of the line and go to the next one, all you got to do is see out ENDL. So we can change this. Take the quotes out, we're doing it without quotes because again, it's a reserved word. It's not text that we are entering. So end L, it's like C out, you know, it's it's it comes with the package. C out E N D L and C out E N D L again. And that would give us the results of having each word on a different line, like this. Cool. And then it took the cursor from here to here because of this little transition, the uh, end L, and then same thing here with the sir, and same thing with the present and key to continue. Okay, so now we know how to skip lines. What if we what if we actually put this in quotes, made the mistake and put that in quotes? What would happen? Well, it would, sorry guys, what would happen is that it would, here, let's debug it, yes, and right there. So. What happened was cool, it printed it, and then it did not skip any line. It just printed the word ENDL, and then it even printed the word car. Because look, all you have is C out cool, C out ENDL, C out car right away. And that's what it did for you. And then you have this C out ENDL. So that's when it starts skipping something. It skips here and starts here. And then you say, okay, C out sir, it prints out sir for you, and then C out ENDL it skips a whole line for you. So you see, because everything you write in quotes is taken literally, the computer would not understand that by ENDL you mean skip another line unless you leave it like this and write it as the syntax says, like that. Okay, it's like, it's kind of like if, if I tell you to tell John to go to school you know, I would I would say, hey, tell John go to school. You would go and tell John, tell John go to school. 
you would add the tell in the statement, like tell John go to school. John's gonna be like, well, you shouldn't have added, you know, tell in that statement. You can just tell me, John, go to school. You know what I'm talking about? It's kind of like that, I guess. You take out the reserved, the reserved word cannot be in the text. So that's why we, we, don't, we don't put it in quotes because if you put it in quotes, it's not even gonna make sense, you know? When you tell John, tell John go to school, he's not gonna understand to go to school. He's gonna be like, um, I should tell John, another John to go to school? What are you talking about, you know? So the computer is not gonna understand to skip a line. It's just gonna print out the tell, the print out the end L for you. So anyways, um, yeah, anything we put in quotes is taken literally, and that's why that happened. Okay, so watch my next video. Before that, practice some more on ENDLs, and then watch my next video. And um, see you then. Bye.